Amazing Quick Coat is out in the marketplace and y'all are starting to get your hands on it. It's a fast curing epoxy and that's a little bit different than probably what you're used to. So today, I wanna to give you five tips and a bonus that will help you be successful with Amazing Quick Coat from Jump. If you find this content helpful, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna to continue to put out more content like this and I don't want you to miss a single one of them. And if you like this video, if you find one of these tips helpful, hit that like button for me. That lets me know I'm doing a good job. Now, before I just go sharing all my tips with you, we gotta talk about one thing. So we have shared language and that's what's called a cure schedule. It's how long it takes, the amount of time, we'll put that on the x-axis, and then how hard something gets. We'll put that hardness factor on the y-axis. For Amazing Clearcast, you're gonna have a pretty steady schedule. It's gonna start off slow, that's the open time that you're used to working with, and then you're gonna see it slowly become harder over time. 24 hour demold, five to seven day full cure. Now, keep in mind that as you see that line go up, there's more heat involved in that process, especially as it's starting to fire off. But let's look at amazing quick coat. Hey yo, happening really, really quickly, right? That's uh, the whole point of this product is trying to get your project to go faster. That does mean a couple things. It does mean more heat that we're gonna have to manage and think about throughout the process. But it also means, I don't know, you get going faster, am I right? All right, tip number one. With Amazing Quick Coat, you're gonna have to deal with air bubbles, right? And the time that it takes to get rid of those air bubbles. If you don't introduce air in the beginning of the process, you don't have to get rid of the same air later. A way to prevent those air bubbles from jump is actually to mix slower and to fold over as you're mixing. When you mix this way, you don't introduce a ton of air by just whipping it into the material. Less air from jump means less air in your final product. So mix slowly, fold it over, and rotate your cup. It's just makes things easier. All right, tip number two is actually about a hot water bath. You might have heard this recommended from us before. If you're having trouble with thick or epoxy because it's cold outside or your bottles have been on a cold floor, we tell you to put it into a hot water bath, bring the temperature of it up. Well, that works for Amazing Quick Coat too, but keep in mind the cure schedule that we looked at earlier. If you heat up that epoxy, it means you got a shorter amount of time. That cure schedule is gonna happen a lot faster. If you need as much time as possible, don't put it in a hot water bath. It's gonna heat it up and shrink that schedule. But if you can afford to get it done pretty quickly, if it's thinner, go for it. It's up to you. All right, tip number three is all about the casting depth. Look, for Amazing Quick Coat, it's an eighth of an inch. That depth is something that we have to live with because of the faster cure time. With Amazing Clearcast or Amazing Clearcast Plus, we can go up to three eighths of an inch because that cure schedule's a lot longer. Here's the thing, we weren't kidding, right? I wasn't goofing and spoofing. We were shooting B-roll for this exact video. You've already seen it. Barely mixed this up maybe 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago maybe, Matt? 210. It's hot, folks. That's why in castings you gotta stay to an eighth of an inch and you definitely don't want a bunch of extra amazing quick coat just sitting around while you're waiting to pour. Tip number four is pouring your surface coating with amazing quick coat and spreading it out yourself. Here's the thing, epoxy self-leveling. That means you can normally pour it and kind of let it make its way over there. But here's the thing, that cure schedule is much shorter with amazing quick coat and that means you don't have a ton of time for that epoxy to try to spread itself over a huge massive surface area. You need to get involved. You need to get your gloved hands, your trowel, whatever you're spreading that epoxy with and get it spread out where it needs to be so that it can use that time to level and flatten where you want it to. Be proactive with this stuff. You have shorter time, you need to be more involved from jump. All right, our fifth tip is all about temperature. In fact, room temperature. And I don't mean 72 degrees room temperature. I mean the temperature that it is in your space. The hotter your space is, the faster your epoxy is gonna cure. That's true for Amazing Deep Pour, Amazing Clearcast, Amazing uh, Clearcast Plus. Every epoxy is gonna cure faster if there's more ambient heat. I like to pour Amazing Quick Coat in a shop that's 70, 65, 72, somewhere within that range. Much hotter than that, and I suddenly have to pay attention to, is it gonna cure too quickly? Much colder than that, and it's not gonna cure up as fast as I'm expecting it to. Be aware, check your thermostat, make sure it's in the zone you want it to be. 
All right, a bonus for you because I love and care about you and I want you to be happy and successful in everything that you do. If you're mixing up a larger amount of Amazing Quick Coat, do it in separate batches. If you do it all in one big bucket, it means you're gonna have a bunch of material exotherming much faster than you want it to. It's gonna put out a ton of heat really quickly and it's gonna make it cure fast. That's why we have Amazing Deep Pour, which a much longer open time, it can take huge five gallon bucket mix ups and sit in there for a really long time. All right, there you go. Now you're set up for success. But I want to know if you still have questions. Let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get in there and answer them as quick as possible so that you don't have any issues when you're using Amazing Quick Coat. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. My bosses like that. They like to see the thumbs up. As always, share your projects with us. Go follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next time.